tried to film this last week, but to be honest, it was absolute trash. I was not a fan, so I binned it, hence why there wasn't an upload last week, because I didn't really want to push out content that I thought was more intolerable than it usually is. So a lot of the videos before have been very much like standing in front of a nothing, a wall, and talking, blah, 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 blah. I thought I'd mix it up a bit and uh, sit in front of a computer screen and talk while things are playing in the background. Sick. So I asked on Instagram for some recommendations of some awful home workouts and things I can have a cheeky lel at. Here we are, booty and back workout, my favorite day of the week. I often do booty and back about 12 times a week, depending on how I'm feeling. You're clapping your bum cheeks together, not really sure what this is gonna achieve other than a bit of lower back activation. Sick, I might get a squeezy body while you're doing it. Other than that, no fat bottom pump is gonna be achieved here. Too much half of this stuff is just like whatever. It's not even worth commenting on because it's just a bit of nonsense. This was a mockery. I saw this before and I was absolutely bamboozled as to what is what is going on here. If nothing else, this video is gonna provide some entertainment in the fact that you can see what I'm seeing and then we can leleth it together. I like her shoes, if that's anything. I, I don't, I, I get sorry about the squeaky chair, it's a bit squeaky. I, again, I don't know. I feel like if I were to do something like this, seismic activity would be reported because Tubby, being myself, would take a tumble and the whole world's gonna feel that shake. This immediately triggered me. I don't even need to press play to get triggered by this. Do these exercises every day for seven days for slimmer thighs, which would imply you can spot reduce fat, which is target where you lose fat when exercising. Can't do that, I'm afraid. So let's find out how I can get slimmer thighs because I don't want that. Uh, side lunges, whatever, not, no. Mm. Mm. Okay, jumping, okay, fair enough. Interesting shoes. Okay, we're binning her off and we're seeing her again. All right, this is fantastic. Obviously, you know this is gonna piss me off. How to target your side and under butt. Uh, that would imply you can isolate a muscle specifically. So when you're training, you can place greater emphasis on different like heads of a muscle, we'll say. For example, you could do certain tricep movements that may target certain heads of the tricep more than others. Tricep is three muscles, hence tri, three. But you cannot isolate a singular head. What about the mid butt? Would that just be the butt crack? Questions. I'm not convinced. These movements seem like the kind of movements that, although involve glute contraction and therefore I guess activation, I don't believe that they're necessarily gonna lead to mass glute development because although you'll feel like you're burning and if you're hurting it, you're working it, not necessarily true, I don't really think you're gonna get a lot of benefit from this. Minimal range of motion, minimal resistance being your leg. Bin, seven day ab challenge, need a bit of this. I don't know why I've got so many of the same woman. Oh, it's because she does TikToks and everyone loves TikToks. So do I. All right, seven day ab challenge, I'm ready. Okay, jump squats, ab challenge, not convinced. I'm surprised this isn't featured in the how to target your side and underbud video we have just seen. So I mean, looking at like the movement selection, jump squats, decent exercise, not for abs. Hip twists, sounds like a back problem waiting to happen. Plank jacks, sounds like another back problem waiting to happen. Double leg lift, like leg raises, I rate, good movement. Plank, jack, pike, back problem. Star abs. I mean like a double crunch, I also rate, and flutter kicks, decent, like whatever. Gonna get some spicy abdominal and hip flexor action. I expected worse, but I'm pissed off nonetheless. I've seen this Tammy Hembrow fitness lingering around, uh, no idea who she was before this. I see ankle weights and immediately I'm triggered, therefore here we are, we're on it. Yeah, you're gonna contract the glutes because you're lifting your legs. Yeah, you've got ankle weights, so that's added resistance. But realistically, like, is it worth it? I think you probably get greater benefit doing something like squats maybe, or glute bridges with a bit of resistance across the hips. Donkey kicks to the side. Again, I see these in all the LBT classes. Maybe as like a warm up, when you get a bit of rotation in the hips. I can understand like, yeah, let's warm up the area. I feel like we're back in year seven PE when you're doing opening and closing the gates. At home chair workout. Let's give this a crack, see what happens. Breach has those shoes. I'm pretty sure Jason TFNL has those shoes and they're fresh. As a whole, that's actually quite an impressive movement. Like, it's quite difficult. Decent execution, I'm, I'm impressed. Again, another good movement. I used to do similar things to this. Yeah, this is pleasantly surprising. Like, you know what? I appreciate you. I appreciate her. I mean, the utilization of a chair as a means of equipment for the gym at home isn't a bad shout because most people obviously have access to chairs. So it would make sense to do something simple and potentially effective. Again, I'm not sure about kicking that unless you're prepping for your next MMA fight. Jillian Michaels, I'm sure I would probably roast you for other reasons, but that was not brass, so thank you. So last one, 
there's a booty band involved. I have a booty band to be fair, so I can't really pipe up. Therefore, I'm going to have a great time. And immediately, we find out this woman is selling them, which is probably why they're so heavily included in her workout. So she can convince you you need them, and you can't perform her workout without them. Therefore, you'll buy them. Money for her. Laughing. Cable kickbacks with a glute band. So glute band kickbacks. And I see 3 by 10 Didn't even ask this. Didn't even plan this. 3 by 10 cable kickbacks, and you know for a fact she's going heavy. Shout out Grace Fit. I miss you. I wish you would return so we could continue our rivalry. As a whole, I can't really pipe up massively because most of these exercises just seem like generic exercises you would consider like booty buildery. Have I seen worse? Absolutely. Do I think there are more effective workouts such as some kind of compound movements, even if with limited resistance when at home? Yes. No one actually sent me videos of males doing crap and I know there's a lot of crap that we're doing out there. So next time, hit me with those and I'll slaughter them because I know we're just as bad. Me included. That's it. That's the video. I'm trying to work out the dynamic how to make it run smoothly. But if it's tolerable, let me know. And I'm sorry if it's not. I will get better. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you in a bit.